How's it going, everybody? My name is Magna Martel. I am so glad to be back. I hope you enjoyed my last couple videos, but unfortunately, the good times have to stop rolling and the bad times have to begin, as per usual. And in what can only be descri described as one of the most sexist, infuriating, anti-man laws I've ever seen, the state in which I live, that is, the state of Pennsylvania, is about to introduce a new law. The voting has not yet been held, but, well, let's just go ahead and take a look at this law, and you're probably going to be as mad as I can, especially if you're a man. Democratic Pennsylvania State Representative proposes requiring vasectomies at the age of 40. Pennsylvania House Democrat, of course he's a fucking Democrat, proposed legislation that would require men to undergo vasectomies at the age of 40 or after their third child. This legislation was written by Representative Chris Rabb, who represents Northwest Philadelphia. Yeah, because Chris is more concerned about controlling men's reproductive rights than he is with the crime in the district that he fucking represents. Uh, trust me, if you're from Pennsylvania, you know that Philadelphia is one of the worst cities to actually go to, let alone to live in, because the crime rate is fucking massive. It might not be the worst in the entire country or the world, but it's definitely the worst in the state. This entire bill was a response to the law that was passed in Texas. I'm not kidding you. Imagine that. Imagine the audacity of a Pennsylvania representative to try and pass a law to punish men because the people in Texas passed a law that punishes the women. Here's a fun thing about these here United States. Yes, each state is united. We are all under one territory. We work together. But imagine if, I don't know, Virginia decided to pass a law that makes it so that all women after the age of 32 have to have their tubes tied in response to Chris Rabb. How mad do you think he and many others would be? My thoughts exact. Moving on, we have his official response, his official post on Twitter. I will be introducing a bill inspired by Representative Kelly Cassidy that requires all inseminators, inseminators, we're not men anymore, we are inseminators, to undergo vasectomies within six weeks of having their third child or their 40th birthday, whichever comes first. So that means if you're a family man and you and your wife decide to have a third child, you're not going to be allowed to have a fourth one. Unless you freeze some. I thought it was important as a man to speak up about reproductive rights, Rab told Harrisburg Station. News station, I'm, I'm not gonna fucking read that. There's all these bills and laws that regulate and restrict the bodily anatomy for women and girls, but not so much for men. Do you know why, Chris? Do you know why? Because the court system fucks men over when it comes to children. The mothers are granted... What's the word I'm looking for? Favoritism. Pre preferential treatment. It would, that's the word I'm looking for. The mothers are granted preferential treatment because of the psychology of the matter. It is incredibly hard in these here United States for a man to win a case about getting his children. Most of the time they will go to the mother and the mother will be granted child support. And the men, maybe, if they're fucking lucky, will be granted visitation rights. I know this for a fact because I've sat in on these fucking cases. I've been a part of them. I fucking had my own parents fighting over me when I was a kid. Kenya especially will fuck men over and make them pay double their goddamn earnings in child support. It gets ridiculous. Really that many laws restricting women's reproductive rights. I mean, women have all kinds of ways to prevent pregnancy. I'm not kidding you. They have female condoms, male condoms, spermicide, they can get implants and pills, everything else. And yeah, those things are fucking expensive. And I'll agree that maybe at the very least birth control pills should be covered by your fucking HMO. But when it comes down to it, there's only so much a man can do. And even then, there are women that will say that they're on these things and then they'll get pregnant and there you'll fucking be. You'll be fucked up. It's, a, it's levity on a very serious issue, but the bottom line is I want to create a conversation about how easily we accept government intervening into the health decisions of women, which should be between them and their family, and then saying what it would be like, what it would feel like if men were regulated, he said. Well, for starters, the government normally, other than extreme cases like in Texas, where they use their religion to justify their law passing that I, again, 
I have stated before in a previous video, I don't agree with this law in the slightest. I don't think it's fair, and I don't think it's right. And I hope that it gets <laughs> revoked here soon enough and pushed back and taken out of circulation. The thing about it is that men's reproductive rights are always the ones actually under scrutiny. I see all kinds of posts all the time from women about how men should be forced to get vasectomies until they're ready to have children. And it's a bunch of bullshit because these people are uneducated. They don't understand. Yes, you can't have a reversal procedure, but that procedure is incredibly expensive. And even then, there's no guarantee of success. It's like a low, I think it's like a low 10% or some shit. I have to double check the numbers. But my point is, even if you get a vasectomy reversed, there's no guarantee that you're still going to be able to have children. And that's the problem. It's much easier, completely, for a woman to get an implant or birth control or something like that that has an extremely high rate of success. And also, men, to my fellow men out there, wrap it up. Wrap it up and learn to pull out, my guy. It saves you a lot of trouble. It saves everybody a lot of fucking trouble. So why should men be regulated when women are barely regulated? And even then, it's only one or two states that have any kind of heavy regulation. Men are already screwed over in any child support case. Men are already screwed over in any custody case. You're essentially, what you're doing here is that you're saying that because some feminist and because it aligns with the liberal agenda, that you want all men regulated even more. And I know I'm going to get those comments from women. Well, men aren't regulated. Women have to go through all the hardness of pregnancy and child labor. Yeah, and us men have to listen to you bitch and whine the whole time and say that everything is our fault the entire time. And then if you decide that you don't want us in the baby's life, we have to pay for it for the rest of our fucking lives. Try again. I'm so tired of this idea that because a couple of places decided to regulate women, or that because other countries, like in the Middle East, women are regulated, that we have to regulate the men here. It's not fucking fair. And if the roles were reversed, imagine if the roles were reversed. Imagine if a man, or even a woman representative, decided, all right, we're going to make it so that after the age of 40, or after their third child, every woman has to have her tubes tied. Imagine the fucking backlash that that representative would get. They would be screaming and reeing, re-sexism, re-racism, re-bigotry, re re over and over and oh my fucking god, it would just be so... <sighs> Now, they're trying to claim that this was satire and that he wasn't serious, but the bill's actually been written. And they haven't voted on it yet, but it's going to be happening. And I'm just going to throw this out there. If you're in the Philadelphia area or in Pennsylvania in general, make sure you vote against Chris Rabb for the future. Because this tells you that you don't want him as your fucking representative, especially if you're a man. And I'm going to be honest, if this law passes, Chris Rabb, you're fucked. Personally, I will personally come to Philadelphia and solve this problem. I mean, I've been wanting to move out of this state for years, but this is just another reason for me to get the hell out of here. Like, I I'm, I'm not even fucking kidding you. If this passes, I'm, I'll just fucking have one done right away, because fuck it. At that point, it's not even worth it. And I know what's going to happen here. It's, it's a slippery slope in action. It's going to start with, oh, you're, you're going to have to have a vasectomy after your third child or after the age of 40, and then women are going to just stop taking birth control and get knocked up left and right until all the men are fucking forcibly snipped. And then eventually there's going to come another law when there's too many babies. Oh, well, all men are going to be forced to have a vasectomy until they're willing to have a baby. It's just, it's all downhill for me to say about it. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below what you would say about this law and how you would feel if a reversal law that goes against the women's reproductive rights were to be passed. Alright, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will see you in the next one.